Hey, what's up, people of the YouTube? It's me, Borea, and I'm here with another tutorial. Today, we're gonna take a look at some keying in Premiere Pro and After Effects. Now, maybe some of you might wonder what is keying? Well, you know, in like big movies and uh, films and stuff like that, they use a green screen or a blue screen uh, for like the background. And what keying is, is when you remove that green screen. So you can put in what background, whatever you want, and do computer generated effects and stuff like that. An example right here, when Shia LaBeouf says, Just do it! Just do it. As you can see, the green screen, him and uh, Shia LaBeouf in front of it. Now, if I were to remove this green background, um, that is keying, chroma keying, and yeah, stuff like that. But now we here we have my Naginu Asukara AMV project. It's a bit of a mess, but well, it is right now. But I've selected out a few clips right here. I will do different types of uh, keying. Um, so for right here, I have a Luma key. What a Luma key is, is it keys out not green, not blue. It keys out the difference between white and black. So for instance, right here, the background behind Hikari is white. So I added a Luma key and I adjusted the knobs and stuff like that. So the white got keyed out from the clip. Like if you take a look, see? Every movement and everything is keyed out. Now there are some small like white sides and white dots around because it's like the darker spots. So it's not perfect doing a luma key, but I will show you later how you can do a luma key much better. Then the other type of key is a chroma key where you use colors. For instance right here I took this orange door behind Manaka and I key the orange. So now the background is showing through the door. Pretty cool, eh? Um, so even if they move and stuff like that, the background is just behind there. <laughs> but what you use this for in most cases is if you have a color difference, or in this case, like a uh, white and dark. Uh, a noticeable difference. You can use keying. In the most cases, a mask, like I did in my previous tutorial, it sh it's much better. But if you can, and there is that substantial color difference, you save a lot of time by keying. But keying is a lot trickier. So if you don't get it right right away, a mask is a lot more easy. It takes. Sure, it might take a longer time, but a mask is still easier than a key. So, for my example right here, the, these four clips, uh, these are not very good at all for Nagino Asukara because uh, they got blue uniforms. So if I were to key out blue or green, uh, some of that blue in their uniforms and stuff like that and their eyes will get keyed out as well. So. I stepped on my own toes right there when I chose this to make the keying <laughs> tutorial for. But anyway, let's get to it. So if you, you start out in Premiere Pro, so if we were to do like one of these uh, color keys, you go into down here on video effects, you got keying, and then I usually use in Premiere Pro, I use an ultra key. And then you have here the key color orange at the ball. See it looks kinda good roll straight away but I lost a lot of color and you can see in their hair and stuff like that. Uh, so what you can do is go over here to alpha channel. Now you see here the black is the thing that is getting keyed out, getting removed and all the white is the one is the yeah it's the things that stay. So you need to play around here with the knobs some quite a lot if you want to get it right 
for instance right here you can see down there the lower part is getting removed uh, the upper part right here and then yep, yep. it's a lot of playing around with this and fixing stuff uh, and the spill suppression what you can do right here maybe working with the spill go back to the composite so you see the final result because what this does is help with the colors you see oh right here now we're back to our almost normal color yeah let's go with the now I can go with the full range because you see the background uh, something like this now <laughs> my other key was a lot better since you can see there's a spill over here but yeah this is how you do it you have to play around I can show you exactly for each and every clip there is you have to play around with the settings going back and forth in alpha and composite uh, so yeah but we're gonna do a better one later in uh, After Effects but this is how you do it in Premiere Pro if you don't have the After Effects and then a Luma key over here well it's a Luma key in the keying effects just pick a cool Luma key now this is hidden so you don't have to pay attention to that but then you get like this now it's the wrong way around because I don't want Hickory to be keyed out I want him to stay and the background to be removed so okay now that here's back you can see the entirety of him and then we're gonna go careful and there we go removing the background but make sure not to go too far because you can see his shirt is going to start fading and then him as well so somewhere around like this like this should probably be good but then again I can s kick this up a notch and we had almost the same thing as I had before with my own yeah as you can see so it, that's another way you can use it what I usually do as well with the Luma key is uh, just can remove this over here. Is you can just put a Luma key over a clip that's uh, pretty dark and stuff like that. For example, this clip right here. You can see the background is pretty dark and she's light over here. It can do a pretty cool effect just using a Luma key. Just put it straight on and see. I haven't changed anything. Then if we play it back, okay, it's a bit laggy you see looks pretty cool eh so that's what you can do with luma key if you just want some random pretty cool effect but yeah I showed them show that trick before in the basic effect but let's t take this into um, after effects and I can show you the methods in there so I select everything replace with an after effects composition now we get jumped into After Effects. Now I already already have the project file sa saved right here. But if you just beginning the new project, you have to save it for some place, and then you can get started. But yeah, all right. Let's start with this one because I want to do the regular color keying first. Uh, so let's hide all of these that we don't use right now and just pick this. Now what you do, you go into Effects and Keying. Use the Key Light 1.2 if you have it. If you don't, then I guess you're out of luck because this is what I've learned to use and <laughs> always use. Uh, but then, yeah, Screen Color, I picked Orange. And the same thing happens here as in the other one. But what you can do over here is pick Screen Map instead of final result 
and you can see what we did in uh, Premiere Pro as well. You can see the dark, the black, and the white. The black is the one getting removed. The white is the one that's staying. And you can play around over here with the clip black, clip white. and just put on some softness so it becomes a bit blurry and play around up here, wrong way and then go back to final result now we need to fix the color enable color correct and then like this and like this now we have to play around over here so we don't I didn't mean to change that much but then we can suppress the blue <laughs> and get funny results we would want to do that and then you can switch around on the wheel to get uh, some color correction on it and yeah most of this is just you need to play around with the settings because every clip is different uh, there's no like do this and it's done no, you have to play around and figure things out this is just like this steps to get into it and start uh, playing around with it uh, the inside and outside mask you don't have to think about it's the color correct uh, the foreground color correct you have to fix stuff like that but what you can also do before you do a key light I'm just gonna remove this for now it's add a selective color. Now I just search here in the effects window, select selective color, drag it over to the effect control. And what you can do right here is choose a color, uh, yellow, green, cyan, blue. For now we're gonna stick with red because we're going with the uh, orange door. And you have to can play around with the settings over here. See, I'm getting Let's magenta stay. Yellow. Yep, we want yellow. Black. Nope, we don't want black. You can stay. And then we can duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D. And you see it's getting more and more orange. Now, in this case, her hair is getting more orange as well. So, yeah. I'm not that good at choosing the clips. I've f tried to figure out. Maybe we can do a little bit with yellows. To figure something out. Nah. Maybe like this. What we want to do is separate the colors as much as possible. Now it's not going to happen, I don't think. So let's go go back and affect the other key pick the orange now we a lot more got keyed out and with let's go to screen mat screen mat oops yeah I don't think we can do anything about her hair no it's not going to happen so right now that's the best we can do I have limited time but yeah play around with it and as I said this is not the best clip we can try out with this one instead I picked this just because of the green so let's get, sele let's get another selective color and pick greens now I know for since I studied this I know how to do the greens uh, oops wrong way around I know how to do the greens <laughs> since I did a lot of green screen earlier um, key select the greens whoa, but look at this uh, do some more Ooh, or maybe we can do a good one on this uh, let's get 92 
other way around. Oh, and let's see the result. Pretty good, pretty good. Now her color got removed since it's blue, as I said before. <laughs> this is not the best. I see right here, it's blue. This is not the best type of clips, but if you have a color for anime you're doing AMVs for or stuff like that, this is this method could work. Have some softness to it. Nope, that was too much. Oh wait, it's shrink it's grow shrinking grow. Never mind, sorry. Right there. Maybe we can shrink it by one. Too much softness. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, again, play around with the settings and stuff like that. Um, but if I were to do a Luma key in here, like this one on Hickory, um, what you can do is just add a Luma key, but that's kind of boring because it's almost the same thing as on in Premiere Pro. Yeah. So what we're we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of a more advanced, but just a simple almost. We're gonna add a tint, so it becomes black and white, and then we're gonna add brightness and contrast. You can do this in multiple ways. You can add levels or stuff like that to just change the black and white. But what we want to do is get him dark and the rest white something like this so like what we did before but now we did it manually <laughs> uh, so something like this and I'm gonna duplicate this layer control D and I'm gonna remove the effects on the lower half like this and then we're gonna go here to the track mate if you don't have it you can switch down here so you go from this to this and then you have the track mat right here I'm going to pick the lower layer of the two and then select Luma mat wrong way around the Luma invert mat there we go and now we have the same effect as we did in Premiere Pro earlier now this as in for a fact like in Premiere Pro there are the small, smaller dots and the edge but yeah so this is like as I said the clips I used is not that good but every clip is different so play around with the settings uh, remember the things I used the selective color like this and then duplicate it now it becomes really really green key light and then just and then what you can do if you don't want to key the whole thing just make a mask like that now you're just using this area to key and yeah you have to combine like all of the different tutorials but this is the one how to do the keying. But if you're going to use this method, method, use a colorful anime or in the case of like you can see a good color difference in the clip. Uh, like if there are greens or blues. Maybe it's a face against the sky because blue is really easy to key. S so yeah. Look out for those. Try it out. If it's not working within like 10 minutes, you're just off better at masking the whole thing. But yeah, I mean, because I just mask this and you see the whole, the movements. If I were to mask this frame by frame, I mean, it would take some time. Yeah, definitely some time. <laughs> but yeah, play around with it and... Uh, Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.